after planning, I'm finally heading out to the lake I've been wanting to fish. Supposedly there's some really big bass in there and I just want to catch my PB, which right now is only four and a half. So we'll see, I'm gonna spend two whole days there and then come back on the third day and hit another lake that's supposed to be good for crappie. We'll see how that goes. It's it's about 3.30 in the morning right now. And I wanted to leave at 3, but had a lot of stuff to get ready, so. But yeah, we'll see how this trip goes. It's It's been on my bucket list, so wish me luck. Finally made it to Silver City in a little less than two hours. I stopped at this uh, gas station to to pee and get some food but it's closed and I had to pee real bad so I, I just went around back and I guess now if yeah if I can't find another gas station I'm gonna just go to the lake but yeah I never been to Silver City it's a town made famous by the movie Rat Race Two and a half, three hours later, and we made it. The most epic lake in New Mexico. We're about to find out. So far we got the lake to ourselves. Found a nice cove here, drove right up to it. We're gonna start out with the top water. Some big bass in here. I'd like to catch one myself. Make sure the drag's set. Let's do this.
make a move. Power bait. Uh, we're here for bass. Well, who would use power bait? Who would fish for trout in a lake like this? Oh my God. This is a nice one. If I can get him. What? A trout? Not a bad trout. Well. <laughs> I guess I caught my PB trout. Beautiful trout. Man, this thing, he put up a, a scrap. Whoa. Oh, son of a... You're okay. That was a nice trout. I'm gonna DT4 Rapala crankbait. Oh, he, I thought I had a like a two pound largey. This side looks a little deeper than the other side of this cove. Try a top water.
has a jerk bait. This side was tough, but I think they were over there. It's just, I'm, I'm more of a power fisherman, and I love to just throw, I love to be cranking, jerking, you name it, but I think I should have slowed down over here. on this side of the lake we're gonna move to the south and the east side made it to the southeast side I like this a lot better. Looks deep. Damn, this water's so clear. We're gonna throw on a little swim bait here. Make sure the drag's set. Should be good. Damn, I think it's like 30 feet <clears throat> right there. Out of all the artificial lures I threw, this swim bait was the only thing throughout the whole time I was there. I did have a couple hits on it, but they might have been trout because they do go after them, but... These bites, although good, they just would not latch onto them long enough for me to set the hook.
Yeah, the sun's already up. I should have started over here. I ended the first day right by the parking lot. The first day was really tough, but I was determined to come back the next day and get at least one good bass. Yeah, I got one. The little Lord, ah, oh, he popped off. <laughs> he was tiny though. Aww. At least now we know we got the right bait. I came up here for a like a five pounder, not a little. I know. I can catch little ones in cruises. Any dam after 9-11, they won't let you drive across them anymore, but you can walk the entire thing. to start out day two with a whole new game plan but like an idiot I continued with the things that had not worked the day before With the water temp being in the mid 60s, they should have been all over top water. But I tried it multiple spots both days in the morning 
and I didn't even have one lucky loo at it. Oh, what is this, a trout? What is it? Ah, shit, I think it was a trout. Nice one. Not a bass, but it feels good to have something on the end of my line. God, there's a lot of trout in here, even though they haven't stocked it in a while. Oh. Thought I had one. Fish this point. Don't know what I'm doing at this lake. Hope I can really catch her trap. Oh, this looks good. This was a very <coughs> diverse lake. This spot right here actually had a lot of grass in it, so I thought I'd rip a lipless through there, but nothing as usual i really think i should have when i was over on this side i should have fished like a cinco or some kind of plastic craw or something i should have fished real slow and i never did and i kicked myself for it Just a few spots I hadn't tried, and this was one of them over here. It was the southeast corner. There's like a spillway there that for water to come out if it gets too full. And uh, the spot was okay. I mean, I, I did have one bite on the speed on the swim bait like usual, but nothing caught. For this shot, I had two cameras set up, the one on my chest and then my uh, GoPro 5 Session, which is my old one, set up on a tripod. I thought I'd finally slow down with the fluke, but I didn't even have a bite on it over here. And it's kind of shallow and weedy. I mean, there's probably some good sized ones hanging out over here, but I just, I don't know. And by the time I got over here, it was later in the day.
some recon. I checked the just the surface temp was 66 degrees. I didn't check. I didn't throw my thermometer out there and check the the bottom of the water column temp. But and I didn't even throw my fish finder much. I threw it like once during the whole trip. How's it going? Again, huh? Yeah. Probably at least till it gets dark. In a Hail Mary attempt, I came back in the evening on the second day. I had gone back into town and bought, and bought some night crawlers and came back in the hopes of I could get one on live bait. I, I suspected I could and I did. Let's catch the five pounder. It's an hour never. So, might come back in the fall. Most people like the spring, but I think the fall is the best for fishing just because the water temp's still warm. In the spring, it's just hard because the water temp's still warming and the Bash just are very schizophrenic. Final day. Why not bust out the live bait? Why not? Old faithful night crawler. Tech the whole thing, Texas reads. Damn, that water's pretty warm. Guess we'll have to let's check the temperature. Just can't forget about it. I do apologize for this clip being so long, but I wanted to show the whole process behind catching this fish that I came all the way sink, for. Sink all Night the crawlers the aren't my favorite way to catch them. They can be messy and you're always replacing them, but they can be very, very effective when nothing else works. And I, and I wasn't coming all this way and not and going home empty handed. And I wanted to take a minute right now since this video is coming to an end to say that I really enjoyed this lake. I would like to come back someday. I, I will say the lake is very clean. You didn't see one piece of trash on the shore anywhere. And the lake is virtually snagless. You, you would get stuck on the bottom every now and then, but you'd always be able to pop it loose. I didn't lose not one lure the whole trip. I lost a few hooks by themselves, but that was it. And I I will say this lake is very tough to fish. I don't know if it's clear because the water's clear or what, but guys, I mean, they were catching them, They to, especially guys on boats. They told me that you may not come out here and don't expect to catch a lot in a day, but you may catch one or two, but they will be good ones. And if when I go back, I know to fish it differently. I know that they like things slow and on the bottom.
There's a bite. There's a bite. Oh, we got him. Finally, a decent largemouth. I knew a night crawler wouldn't work. Yes. It's peeing. bass I don't like to keep fish out of the water too long but I'm just petty like that I, I gotta get pictures and I even got me a selfie stick to do it when I should have just there was a guy next to me I should have just had him take the picture in hindsight but because I, sometimes I do keep them out of the water a little longer than I like to. And on this release, I was able to use my other camera that's, and I think most GoPros are waterproof, but this other camera, I kind of, it doesn't have a screen on it, so I can't really see what's going on, but I just hope that it was a good shot and then looked at it on my phone at a later time. I didn't keep him, I just wanted to get pictures. <laughs> There's a bite. We got him. What the? Oh my, look at the size of, this has gotta be a rock bass. The size of that thing. I wonder if he's good eating. Man, this hook ain't no joke. I left about. That's why I got it. o'clock <laughs> at night. I decided to call it a day. That's but why I bought it. The next day, I was supposed to hit a Just this other this. lake that I wanted to go for crappie at. Damn. But. After catching that largemouth, I, I decided to hit I got it. this lake one more time the next day before I headed home to Las Cruces. I don't even know there's rock bass in here.
This was the final day before I headed back. I fished for maybe two hours. We didn't get nothing to write home about, but we got a little trout and a little bass. That was a bite. Here we go, here we go. We got him. It's a trout. Shit, <laughs> he's crazy. Not a bad one. We got him in the eye. You can see him. He's chilling. There he goes. Not real big, but I got him. Back home in Las Cruces, three days later. It's a pretty good trip. It was interesting. I don't really like the town of Silver City, but. It was, still, it was still a fun trip. And I caught a pretty nice bass. He was about two pounds, maybe. Until next time, maybe, maybe I'll go back in the fall.